Hopefully, is everything refreshed and updated? Is this like real time or is this you know, delayed? And, uh, my comment when you showed the, um, the cloud of all the, the movies that you did, my name is spelled. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's another Saul. It's really not a, uh, an easy name to spell wrong. <laughs> you know, spell wrong how, how often is this? Uh, uh, Saul Winchester. <laughs> uh, this is sub, sub real time, so we're continuously crawling these sources on an hourly basis. Uh, there is a bit of delay. It's not real, real time, like 15 minutes. Sometimes you might see a story within 20 minutes if you're within that cycle. Uh, but the focus is not necessarily on real time. The focus is on quality uh, and, and, and accuracy and relevance and connecting. Doing all these connections takes a bit of time. So we might be one to two hours behind in terms of grabbing a story. But it's the kind of thing that, I mean, unless you're blue at your screen, you're not going to care if you learned about a story uh, an hour ago or two hours ago or three hours ago. Uh, so my answer is it's sub-real time. It's not real, real time. And we can correct any errors. The reason, I mean, this taxonomy is handmade. It's not an automated taxonomy. So the advantage of a handmade taxonomy is, is, is quality. So we will we'll correct that. Celine, uh, how are you selecting the initial uh, set of uh, sources from which you have seen your data? Uh, the, the main sources are, are a huge number. I mean, it's it's really a lot, the blogs, the main blogs, the uh, mainstream media, news magazines, uh, you name it. And there are even some Twitter feeds, Twitter uh, accounts that are streamed on a, on a selective basis. Uh, so it's pretty comprehensive at, at the source. Uh, there are 15,000 feed sources, so it's it's Google-esque in, in that regard. If you can, if you make a, uh, for, for a given portal that we decide to go into, uh, if you uh, compare it to Google News search, uh, we will grab you a lot more articles than a Google News search. So it's pretty comprehensive uh, from that regard. And we keep adding them on a weekly basis. We keep adding uh, new sources that, uh, that, that, that come up that are relevant. But how do you determine which sources you select for your um, it's, it's the ones that are, uh, that are emerging, the ones that are uh, uh, continuously important. Uh, uh, if, if we go into a new area, uh, usually uh, there is a handful of, uh, of blogs or, or uh, websites that are peculiar to that area. So we do some research and, and we make sure that uh, at least the ones that are relevant to the area that we're entering are, are in there. Last question. Uh, I noticed that you had like, a very rich like, taxonomy. And the example you showed was very like specific to subject. How would you say you compare it to uh, uh, Alltalk? Alltalk.com. Sure. Well, we, we go with, with a lot more depth and a lot more uh, uh, relevancy, and we show you the actual content. So I think Alltalk is just the headlines, and you can hover on it. You see a little bit, but they, this is searchable. I mean, right now the Canada Tech has three thousand articles. This is this is like a library index. We index every piece of content uh, and, and we all organize it. Um, so we are going after quality, not, not quantity. Alltop has a lot of uh, portals and they have varying quality levels. Whereas uh, we will only be uh, at the top uh, of the quality side uh, when, when we go into a particular topic. So this cannot attack. This is not meant to replace anything, by the way. I just want to make sure this is a very important point. This is a jumping point into all of the other existing sites that exist today, Demo Camp, Startup North, and so on, the, uh, Mark Evans' blogs, and everybody else that's in, in this room that is doing something in this regard. We're just a jumping point to, to those places, uh, but it's a quick jumping point, and, and a user can come in here and then quickly pop up a, a, the article, uh, and they, they get directed straight to the source. So we're not, we're not storing the actual content, we're just indexing uh, the content and redirecting the traffic back, but it's all organized, so it's meant to save you time. The uh, best way to experience this on a quick basis is go to the Twitter account, sign up at Canada Tech News, and then if you like it, back, go back to the web portal and then sign up for the email. You definitely win the Mark Evans Name Drop of the Night award. That's <laughs> <laughs> very classic. <laughs> He was looking upset. He no was. one had mentioned MASH. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank